Yes, it's that time of the week again. Welcome to another episode of the official McCoy podcast. And it's my what is it? I'm excited. We got a, We got a guest. <laughs> we got a. We got an outstanding guest, Mr. John Kelly, running back for the Los Angeles Rams, Tennessee alum. Yes, sir. Skateboard head. Yeah. Some From the what? D, somewhat of a, somewhat of a, how's it? Fa- fa- fashion icon. And a fashion <laughs> icon. Don't forget that part. Let's, nah. How's the offseason been going? Oh, it's been good. It's been, it's been chill. Yeah? It's been good to have some downtime. Uh, I've been able to reconnect with my family, mm-hmm. you know, a lot, being able to catch up on some calls. Yeah. Talk to everybody that I'm close to back at home, so. I've been able to use this time to my advantage. And Absolutely. Relax. You got any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I got. Well, on my, I have a pretty large family, I would say. So on my mother's side of the family, I would say I got two older sisters mm-hmm. whose birthday is coming up soon. So I got mm-hmm. to, you got to find yeah, a guest. You got to get so the yeah, guest so together. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to take care of them on that. But I got two older sisters, a little brother. And on my father's side, I have a older brother, a little brother, a little sister, and an older sister. So I'm a middle child on both sides of the family. Oh, yeah. You Pretty got that nice J. Cole, friend. middle child. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, call tell me a little bit about it. What it, You said you just been chilling and relaxing. Talk to me about the grind of the season and you being a running back. Like like we talked a few minutes before, you probably best of you rookie running back, you're gonna want to practice. You let me know you've been, you made every single practice. Talk oh, yeah. to me about the transition from practicing every day and taking that pounding, to just being able to some timed off to catch up with the fam and catch up with yourself. Yeah, I mean, for starters, I definitely wasn't taking a pound in at those practices. I was delivering it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. say that then. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? so yeah. It, let it, that it, be known. That's, yeah. that's real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but, it, you know, it, it was a grind, though, like you said, just being able to come right out of college, get into that off-season workout, mm-hmm. um, those off-season games, then regular season comes right around the corner from that camp. All of that just – it was – so back to back that I look up and it's Sunday, you know right. what I mean? So my days was kind of running together, but it was good to have this experience just as far as understanding my schedule, yep. my time management, yep. and just the things that I can look forward to going into next season. But, you know, it, it felt like it was three seasons, like right I, there. I didn't practice. I made, every, made sure I practiced every single day, yeah. you know, because, you know, like – that rookie year, that is all about being available. All about being that's, available. That, that's just that's most important. But you said something that's surprising to me. You said I know we talked about availability, but you said you was you was delivering more blows than oh, what yeah. you was taking. That's your running style. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's my running style, but I feel as if when when times come where I got to get my hands dirty or I got to get physical, I'm not gonna shy away from no contact. Hey, and that's real. Hey, hey, man. Oh yeah. What uh, at Tennessee? It's, it's all right in Tennessee man, right now, right? The, the basketball oh, team, man, number my, one. Yeah, Do you my, follow, my, are you following the of basketball? Of course, I, man. Shout out to my boys, man. I see yeah. you, <laughs> Yeah, them I boys looking you. good. Yes, sir. Do you any plans to go to Tennessee to check out some of the games? Absolutely, man. It's, I'm glad that I got some of this downtime. Now I'm going to go and check my boys out. You know, they just um, bounced back from a tough game yep. against Kentucky. So, yep. I, you know, we still got all the faith in the world and them boys to take it all the way. Absolutely. Talk to me about... Well, talk to me about what, what did you learn from, from Todd Gurley? Todd Gurley probably regarded as one of the top running backs in the league. Yeah, what did definitely. you take from him your rookie your rookie year? Was it his, prep, what is it, his preparation? Was it his style of run? What, what did you take from Todd Gurley during the year that you think is going to help you for the training the offseason? I, I would say Todd's understanding for the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That, that's something that a lot of people don't see because for the most part, all you see is – how freakishly big he is. He's right. a freak athlete. Right. He can run fast. He's strong. Yep. Got nice cuts. Yep. But what you don't see is his preparation for the game and how he understands the game and certain plays, how he's able to break them down and make them understanding for me mm-hmm. while he was helping me along the way. So, you know, I you know, I give Todd credit for that. Is that film? Uh, it, the crazy is that part a feel is, or is that film? I mean, <clears throat> it wouldn't necessarily be film. Yeah. Like we we would go over the film during plays, like during the preseason when I was playing, mm-hmm. we would go over some film. But for the most part, it would just be literally right after plays. Like while we had practice, we always made everything competitive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even if it came down to how we dressed 
coming out for practice who who look the crispiest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's a part. That's yeah, the thing. You, you look good. You play. Yes, good. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. You can't just be out there looking like a Rudy Poot with your accessories <laughs> not together for practice or the pros. I mean, yeah, I, I understand that you're a pro and they paying some of us the big bucks to yep. to just come out here and work. But yep. it, it does feel good to look good. So, it does. Yeah. It makes a difference, especially your rookie campaign and you trying to create an <laughs> image and a brand for yourself. Oh, you want to yeah, stand out a little. Yeah. And if you're gonna be a fashion king. John Kelly, you got to stand out a little bit. Something, something like that. It, it, it has its moments. I would say it, it has, has its, moments. its moments. Talk, okay, okay, Fashion King. Talk to me about some of your favorite brands. Or for, are you a design? We doing a lot of things with the with the labels. We got Gucci yeah. and everybody coming out with the blackface. Are you trying to go away from 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 the uh, the the brand name fashion houses, or do you try to find other things that John Kelly likes and you want to promote? I mean, that's always been my thing is just being original to myself. Yep. You know what I mean? I wouldn't necessarily say that I just go with the wave or follow the hot trending topics or right. trending clothes or nothing like that. But like you said, with those high fashion and high end fashion things, making those decisions that they made, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say that it affected me because if they were intentionally being racist or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. then that's wrong. You know what I mean? It's understandable why people would feel a certain way about that. But as far as me dressing the way that I'm a dress, right. I'm not, I'm, I don't have to wear those clothes anyways to look good. Right. You know what I mean? So right. I'm gonna make my own things look good. So I, I did one dabble in pretty much about everything from Certain, I ain't gonna say the, the brands, but you know, I yeah. do want that about everything. I don't want to, yeah, do you don't want to give yeah, up too much of your drip. Yeah, I, let yeah, find, yeah, 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 you got to find out in the post in yeah, one of my you posts. Tried to just check me out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so we got, we got, we know you're a fashion king, we also know you're into skateboarding, yes, sir. So you're in a very interesting dynamic. You're there, you're, you're NFL running back. Well, that's a, a lot of NFL players are running backs are yeah. usually they're like, they're, they're like they're, everybody's pretty much been a fashion king from Emmitt Smith to the suits, you know, it, and everything. It, it, it varies. It yeah. varies on what you what your take is on fashion as far as originality or piecing together certain clothes and yeah. items. You know, what I mean, some people go out their way to be a little bit flamboyant to make a statement. You we know what seen I mean? those. And I, and I feel as if that's not my that's not my take on it. Right. And that's like not, Cam. That's not what I need to do. Like Cam. No disrespect to Cam. I love Cam Newton, one of my favorite <laughs> players. But Cam, he can, he goes, he errors on the top of like, over a little bit over over the top. Rabbit foot, Smokey <laughs> the Bear hats, short <laughs> pants, shorts. You know what I'm saying? The 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 the, the loafers. You know what I mean? The 18 wristbands. I say I say this. If, if that's his choice, then it, I'm pretty sure he thinks it looks good on him. Yeah. But if it's a stylist, I don't think he should be going out his way to do that. Like, no. You, you shouldn't. Have, you shouldn't be paying nobody to make those decisions for you. No. Nah. Like, they go have you out here looking like that. Nah, because anybody that looks like a man who has no stylist and just picks whatever he want to pick in on the closet. Yeah, I understand sure. <laughs> the whole drip thing. Everybody's like drip this drip. The drip yeah. can't be too hard, John. Kelly. I, I, I mean, most definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And that's a fact. You know, that's yeah. real. So. I don't never go out my way. I stay in my own lane. That's what I say. I ain't following no trends. I'm Perfect. In my lane. Talk to me about skateboarding. How long have you been skateboarding? No, it's funny. I was just talking to my dad about it earlier, and he was just like, man, you know it's so crazy to me, son? Like, you literally used to play these games, play Tony Hawk Pro Skater from back in the day, like 2002. Mm -hmm. I was born in 96, so I've been playing it for a long time. Yeah, that was like my second year of college. Thanks a lot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You still oh, look good. good thank you, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nah, but he was just telling me about how I play these, how I used to play the games, and ten minutes later, I say I'm going outside and I'm mm -hmm. getting on the skateboard and I'm trying all the tricks yeah. that I saw in the game. So, skateboarding been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Right. You know what I mean? Just like as long as I can remember playing football. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I play. I skateboarded before I played organized football. So. Oh, that's real. But it's the same thing, right? Because you watch a run, you watch something in football, you calling the homies outside to get in the street Man. to see if you can recreate it, a play or it, a it, juke it, or something. No, it, it was a lot more different, though, because with the skateboarding thing, it was more of an escape. It was more of a getaway. Yeah. The football came natural to me. like Facts. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, can, I naturally knew how to catch a ball, naturally knew how to run, make yeah. those cuts. Like, yeah. I was always an athletic kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? But... For me to pick up skateboarding, you can see pro skateboarders now, they don't look athletic not whatsoever, but the time and commitment to actually like sitting there doing that, yeah, like, that shit, it, it, it gets 
it, it's tough. Like, it's, you, it's, you gotta credit those guys. Like I do. Yeah. You I have a, a a friend, Ryan Sheckler. You know who Ryan Sheckler is. Yeah. So <laughs> Ryan actually put training into his program because he had injuries and, year and, after and I, year. And I'm starting to see a lot of the pro skaters do that. Yeah. I was just talking to P Rod. I seen him. Yeah. Doing some uh, some therapy. I'm like, man, you know how how good this would have been if everybody was doing this so many years ago. Yeah. Just like as far as people actually taking their time out to the do The sports rehab. performance Man, and all that. But even across sports, like that, for, for earlier earlier running backs, Earl Campbell, uh, Emmitt Smith, all of them work low, 20, 25 carry, 30 mm -hmm. carries a game. They didn't have no sports performance. They had ice and anti-inflammatories and a pill Man, to get you and, ready for and a and game. Back in, and back in them days, I'm pretty sure they had it all. Yeah. <laughs> they had, hey, anything you had to get to. back out there. Yeah. Pretty sure they had that. Absolutely. How do you feel about how that's come? Do, the, how far that's come? Like you said, like back in the day was whatever you had to do to get on the field. Mm -hmm. Now it's let's so get so many different tactics that they had to do to extend your career, mm -hmm. right? You know how you feel. You 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 like the way how you like how far that's come, or do you think? It should just remain Old Testament football. You just Man. bang your head until you can't bang no more. <laughs> I don't think nobody in this game like that that part of the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's all about keeping people safe. Yeah. You know, this game is is da it's dangerous. Yeah. It's violent. Yep. And it's constantly evolving because we only getting stronger, the faster, and bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So, you know, for them to take all the precautions that they're taking as far as just concussion protocols. Um, any small injuries as far as rehabs and things of that nature, you know, is is definitely a great step forward. And I mean, technology is always evolving yeah, too. And yeah. my boy, one of my boys was just telling me about how he had an idea for a helmet years ago. And like that, that can calculate like velocity speed yep. as far as when you get hit and everything. Yep. And we was just looking it up online and that's in the works right now. Yeah. He was like, man, I had this idea years ago. I'm like, that junk is, this game is evolving at such a rapid pace that Something like that would have been selling. Like you could have been a billionaire but already. Yeah, yeah being in bed with yeah, the yeah, NFL and yeah. who is who makes the helmets? Riddell. Mm -hmm. yes, Still, yeah, did. yeah. So you could have been involved in bed with Riddell, making money off every Man. single helmet. But he 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 always in his mind though. I stay with people that's in their mind. So I know he gonna he gonna have a million dollar idea. So. Yeah, yeah. Stand with people. Does your you? We spoke before we even podcast. You said you talked to everybody. Defense, oh, yeah. offense, wide receivers, defensive backs, whatever it is. Did the skateboarding because – hold on. Are a lot of brothers skateboarding in the D? Is there a uh, – <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure. I ain't been in the D in a minute, not, and I don't know the skateboarding uh, uh, demographic, but are a lot of brothers skateboarding in the D? I I'm, know they hooping and nah, playing nah, football. Nah, it's, yeah. it's definitely coming back. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as far as in my neighborhood, nah, it wasn't nobody skateboarding. Yeah. And I mean – I got it in every so often because yeah. I, I didn't really skate around my neighborhood too much because it wasn't really nothing for me to skate. Rare. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd be in my driveway, be in the street, go up to the park, but it wasn't really much of a, ske a scene for me at the park, so mm -hmm. I'd just be at the park chilling. Yeah. You know, bring my board, but i have to go out my way to go to these skate parks, though. Yeah. And it was nice to, to bring all those people together, though, because that's what I feel like skateboarding has done for me. You know what I mean? Diversified me a lot. It yeah. Brought me a lot. Brought me around a lot of different people from co different cultures and backgrounds. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. And for us to have that common understanding and common thing of interest, you know, that's that's something that was powerful. Yeah, because skateboarding hasn't always been widely accepted. They used man, to have the don't it, it skateboard, a, don't crazy, skateboard man, nowhere. So it was a band of misfits. So you. That's, that's, that's the crazy part. And yeah. That, and that and that's a funny thing because you look at like fashion now and a lot of that is centered around that skateboarding culture like hoodies that pop not only just the hoodies but like people the way you wear wearing, your sock the way you wear wearing, wearing supreme like you no. know what i mean like yep. a lot of that came from like skaters who was labeled and banned misfits yeah and stuff like that so you know it's just cool it's funny to see it's cool to see it get its recognition somewhat yeah and everybody's kind of starting to clean palace but it's a lot of poses out here, man. It's always <laughs> it's a lot of poses. Great word. I still use that. It's plenty, it's plenty of posers. Yeah, it's a lot of posers out here. Um, what do you, so 
what, what what else are you doing with your platform? I know you're a part of the officialized platform. You yes, know, sir. you want to build your brand up. You want to help some kids. You got a message. What are some of the message and the things that you want to know, whether it be through football or skateboarding or being an entrepreneur or doing I know you have a nonprofit organization, correct? Uh, well, it's in the works. Yeah. I got a lot of things in the works. Yeah. But one thing that I'm working on right now, most importantly, is this um, the foundation for my multimedia platform that I want to be able to make and create with a couple of guys that I went to school with oh, yeah. and a few other people that I know. Yep. So that's something that I got in the works, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of positive that's going to be behind that just as far as philanthropy events yep. and things of that nature. So Online, offline all, events, all, yeah, all, all, oh, yeah, all the whole thing. Most definitely. And, you know, one of the most important things that we, our message we want to give to kids mm -hmm. of all backgrounds is, you know, anybody with the right resources have an opportunity to do anything and Man. we want to be able to provide those resources in certain places that may not have none and the places that do have resources we want to be able to connect them with people the exposure exactly you that know don't I mean? have Just, the resources exactly. so you can see the opposite end of we, what it looks you like know what i mean and then be able to make a connection from there those create bonds that last for a long not time only do that create bonds it creates opportunities too just facts you know what i mean yeah so, Facts. That's huge. Because it's good. The opportunities need to be dispersed. It's dispersed amongst everybody. It, yeah. It, it, that's that's just always been my way of thinking, though. Yeah. That's a good way of thinking. You know, it, keep yourself it, nimble. It, and you always got to realize that you're not living this life for yourself. It's, it's, it's always going to be you living for somebody else. You know, it's always bigger than you. That's facts. Not too many people. Not too many people. That it's 2019. Everybody kind of going on in their hole right now, man. You see, hey, I, I felt like I've been there before in the hole by myself. And it's dark it, man, and it, lonely. Not, not only is it dark and lonely, but you you forget to like realize the small things. Yeah, you just forget to realize your small successes, yep. your small accomplishments. And once you start to embrace those things, you you realize that it's a bigger picture. You know See, what I mean? that's what I like about today's athlete. When I was playing bas basketball in the '90s in the NBA, you weren't you weren't allowed to. Uh, uh, for notice your, your accomplishments or what What do you mean by that though like you like even even if i did something good during the season like you were so busy and consumed with what they wanted you to do you didn't have a chance to meet with your people or celebrate a small accomplishment that's you know? real and sometimes it don't happen until you're a retired player and somebody has you sometimes for instance my i didn't feel my my career went the way it should have you know what i mean bounced around a couple of teams Got in trouble when I came out of college before I went to the NBA, so I had a label already. But that's that's fine though. Yeah, that's fine, and it's different adversity. Yeah, and things that people overcome to make their story their story. Exactly, everybody got their own story. Exactly. So your career may have not went the way that you wanted it to go. Yeah, as far as statistically. Yeah, but that all happened for a reason. Look yeah. at you now. You got your. Got you some. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm be all right. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be all right. But like, like you said, everybody is, talk to me about the importance of you telling your own story. Is why we do we here, what we do here at Officialize, of you telling your own story in your own voice. You know what I mean? As opposed to you giving that story up to. Uh, a, a publication or mm -hmm. they dice it up and they want to make the sound bites or the clickbait or whatever it is. Talk to me about the importance about you projecting what, what and who you want to be to your fan base or, or, or people who you think you can help. I mean, it, it's motivation and yeah. it's authentic, yes. you know, that, and that's just most important because you want to, you want to be as real as you can be. Yeah. I mean, working with you guys, I, I try to make sure whenever I'm posting a blog or anything of that nature, I want to be, be able to revise, edit, yep. make sure I add anything that I want to add because I want it to be personal. Right. But it's always good to have an authentic look and hear. So that way that maybe my friends that's back in Detroit mm -hmm. or in Tennessee or wherever, mm -hmm. they can relate to this message and understand it, interpret it a mm -hmm. different way right. rather than somebody else saying it for me. Yeah, because you know I mean? so, it gets lost in the message man, or lost in translation I mean? and or whatever they say, that, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a huge misunderstanding right there yeah people people lose track of hearing some word of mouth though everybody looking at the the links and junk. yeah they, there's no there's it no actual be, it truth be, or, yeah it gotta yeah. be real authentic what are you liking on the music what, what type are you a hip-hop guy are you a everything guy are you just hip-hop everything me too so how far are you going with the everything are we talking edm are we talking like motown are we EDM, talking motown. electronic yes sir yeah I, got, I mean, I listen to it, and I, I go to the – we got a huge um, 
EDM festival in Detroit every year. Mm. It's always going crazy. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm hoping to get there with my best friend this year. Yeah. When I got this little time off, it's a little. It'd be nice to be able to go home. Yeah. And see my family and also celebrate able, a little you know bit. I mean? Just yeah. Be able to experience that because that's a huge event and it, it's been going on for a while. But I listen to all the music. Tina Marie out of um, out on the limb. That's what I was yeah. listening to my girl. How much is music involved in 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 in, in your sports for you? Uh, do you have to a, do you have to listen to music to perform well? I've listened to a lot of music, and I wouldn't say that I have to. Yeah, because I've listened to so much music. Yeah, that is stored in my mind. It's, I can it, I can a movement a movement can happen. In my mind. Yeah, but I'm like I, I'm really if I can say the word obsessed with music, really fascinated by it. Yeah, you know different genres of music. I could say that I. The only music that I don't enjoy listening to is country music. Good facts. I can't. I, I, Understandable, I can't, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't. Okay, I don't. Okay, I, yeah. I get it for everybody else, but it don't resonate with me. You yeah, know what I mean? And that's the. And the thing is, except it's not, Johnny Cash. That's that's straight. Who was basically rapping? And that, that's why I say it's straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, yeah. And it's not only that though, but I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not going out on a chance, and I didn't try to listen. Right. Like I'm not just being close minded. Right. It's just I, was, I tried. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to the University of Tennessee. You came across some country music. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That that's all they played there, but is yeah. Peyton Manning still a big deal in Tennessee? Do they yes, talk sir. about is he do they still talk about Peyton up there? Is he still God up in Tennessee? Yes, sir. Yeah. He has a room right there in that facility. He does. Peyton, Peyton Manning room. The pay, does T Martin have a room? No. T he Martin has a job. Well, that's sometimes better than a room. <laughs> <laughs> you might not get his recognition, man. He don't? I don't know. He did, didn't he come close to win us? He was a good starter for Tennessee. You mean Coach you, Fulmer? You, you, you meant he won the national championship? I, was, I wasn't too sure, so I didn't want to yeah, say okay, that yeah, before yeah, I was trying yeah. to fact check in the back of my mind. You why, mean he won the national he, championship for right. Tennessee? Yeah. Did Peyton win one? Nah. Right? Ooh. The damn seat uh, fell down. <laughs> <laughs> the damn seat nah. fell down. Like, oh, that's interesting. But that's another topic. That's yeah, that. We don't want to. Yeah, Tennessee. <laughs> this is a good alumni here. He's doing good for the Tennessee, you know, University of Tennessee. Uh, we don't want to go there. Yeah. yeah, we all, you know, we, we Peyton Manning all the way. That's my boy. Yeah, you got to love Peyton. Got to. Got to respect this game. Some of your favorite teammates. Where? On the Rams? On the Rams. You guys, you guys got some eclectic teammates. Man, I love, Marcus all, my, I love P yeah. all my teammates, man. Yeah. Well, of all of them. It's, it's a few guys that I, I say that that I, I probably talk to more frequently. Yep, naturally. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, that comes a lot of the times too. What people wouldn't even realize is just like with the age difference. You know what I mean? I'm I'm fresh out of college. Some of these guys, yeah, man, married. Yeah, you know what I mean, kids, Two, three and things, kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it's different responsibilities. Yeah. And I mean, we're not necessarily trying to be friends. We're going through this together. Right. That's why a lot of times people during the off season. A lot of guys get away, you know what I mean? You have to. We, we together all those days. Yeah. I'm seeing you, you. I'm seeing you more than I see my family. I know your business. I know when you're up. I, I know, know when you're down. When you're you hurting. Doing. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yep. yeah. It's a lot of guys that I probably talk to more naturally on the team. But I love all my guys. I mean, I talk to my guy, uh, my boy Makuna. Mm -hmm. The Obo. He's another rookie. Mm -hmm. Mike Thomas. We live in the same neighborhood. And mm -hmm. Gerald Everett. A lot of those guys, we like all in the same age range. Too, yeah. So, so you you coming together naturally. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, I, I spend a lot of time with those guys too. So, but for the most part, man, I'm I well connected with all my teammates. Yeah, that's I a love good all thing my to guys, be. Man, it's it's a grind. You know yeah. what I mean? That just for us to be able to go through that process together. Yeah. You know what I mean? You build some type of relationship. You gonna build some type of relationship. Yeah. What are you gonna add? What are we gonna see next season? From John Kelly that we didn't know because you know every year you're supposed to add something you got to. right every, every day you're supposed to get better we're supposed to get one yeah, percent better yeah, every yeah, day you know what I mean yeah whether that be your something. language hey, it's yeah something. it's something you'd you, you be surprised though every, yeah everybody getting better one percent each day yeah or what are you going to add from from this year is it something mentally is it something <laughs> physically that's going to change in your approach that's going to be that one percent thing are you going to add five pounds yeah man, man that's not even it I mean, yeah, that's see. That's all in somebody's mind. Like when, they, the, when, they, when, when you think of about 
certain weights and heights that you need to play. Measurables. At. Measurables don't me don't mean a thing. It doesn't. It does not. It doesn't. It doesn't mean a thing in any level of any sport. And it does not. It doesn't. It keeps it, some people employed with analytics and people who know how to do measurables <laughs> and want to gather all man. that data. It keeps them employed. If you can ball, you can ball. So is Kyler Murray gonna be able to ball in the NFL? Yes, sir, I was just man. I just watched that boy highlights yesterday. As a starting quarterback, man, he he's, he can ball. Period. What, and the thing is, what's changed? What's gonna change about the game that he's playing? As long as he can, as long as he go. Have the opportunity to adjust to it's the style already, of playing and everything. It's already mirroring college playing, anyway. He's been playing football his whole life. Yeah, that's, at that height, and that's just the and that's the and that's the basis of it. He didn't play football that, his whole life at that height. I didn't play a year in the league. I didn't play NFL football my whole life. I got out there, right. but I still gave my best effort. You know what I mean? Right. I still was able to have some success. Right. So you'll be out of your mind if you think that this boy not gonna have. Especially no when they look at analytics. I was, somebody as loud listening to somebody on ESPN that said he threw like seventy one percent of his passes were from the pocket, and like players above six five actually <laughs> had more passes batted down than players that were five ten. So you could put numbers behind man, anything, listen, but can you ball, ball or can man, yeah? You can ball, man. You put him out there on that field. I bet he gonna make some plays. Give me a defender who, if you saw. If you were lining up, those about to those about to tackle you, that you would you would be thinking twice. You I had think, to make I a business twice. decision. You had to make a dis business decision before you gain that extra. It was easy to get that extra two, or maybe get out of bounds and get away from him and save yourself. I mean, I, I'm never thinking that, never Damn. thinking that, because I can't. But not I right mean, now. I, I'm, no, it's not even not right now. I just can't because it's a reaction game. I'm playing a reaction game out there. I, I Do know, you hoop? I, mean, I can hoop. You know what but I mean? you, yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? I can hoop, but have I, I haven't played organized basketball in a minute. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been a few. Yeah, okay. I say if I seen somebody, probably AD Aaron Donald. Hey, he he make me think twice. He's yeah. done it already. That's why. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> yeah. He, he, he's yeah. done it already. We we get it in that practice. Yeah, but yeah, AD. He, I like his game though. He always sharpened. Any running back. Your favorite run? Who did you? Who did you? Who, where did you get you? Did, is this the John Kelly running style? I mean, you did can you say did so. you form you? Yeah, because I'm getting so, like from it, what I'm getting from your vibe it. and your energy, you take a small piece of something, but you you just you still gonna curate it for yeah, your own thing. You're not gonna right. take this. So was it? You give can't because you can't copy style. You can't. You can't. You can. You can imitate it. You can't copy it. No, like, my body don't look like everybody else's body. Facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. My body don't look like everybody's body. So. Yeah, it can't do the same thing. The little, you know what I mean? yeah, and I, it's it's just different. But I I, I watch everybody around the league. I mean, yeah. it's some people who do. Do y'all do that? I know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that was what I was gonna say. Like, it's some people who don't. Like, yeah. who, who focuses on their own thing. Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I watch somebody. I watch every single running back in the league. Yeah. Because everybody got their own natural movement. Yeah, we have. Everybody got their own natural cuts. You can make the same cut, and it's gonna look different. You You know what? We've had a couple of players on 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 the platform that 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 felt the same way. Like, we asked them, "Do you watch? Like, can we talk about you know some of the other throws or some of the other highlights from the other teams?" They'd be like, eh. and I'd be like, "Ooh." Cause I know, like in the league in the NBA, like as soon as your game is over, you watching the next homie or try, you know what I mean. You in the locker room with yeah. two minutes left in the game, you be like, man, he cooking. No, that's real. Yeah, and it, 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 I feel like a lot of times for certain positions, I would say, yeah, you you just watch guys just to you know see some of the moves, the little moves that yeah. they do. Yeah. Just because they're doing a move, that don't mean that you're gonna do it and it's gonna look exactly how they did it. Exactly. You know what I mean? So like I you watch a lot of guys, and I mean. I was able to be blessed to play behind some great ones yep. so far. You know what I mean? Yep. Being able to play behind Alvin and Jalen Hurd over there at Tennessee yeah. and then come to, to the Rams. And yeah. I got a chance to play behind the guys I was here, play with the guys I was here. And it's, I mean, I'd be a fool if I didn't learn something from something. all these guys. And they, yeah. You know what I mean? And they having the success that they have and they got to the place that they had now. So, yeah. I mean, I'm always learning. You seem like that. You open book, always learning. What are some of your other interests? Uh, music. I say just like as far as music, I mean DJing. Oh, you DJ too? Getting there. You getting there? I'm That's a good thing to be. That's a good thing to be. Yeah, it's some. It's a little hobby. Get a little, you can make some I'm, bread being a DJ, checking in and, and, you know and doing I mean? a set got, real quick, like Shaq. Yeah, yeah, like Shaq and a couple other people. They picking up a nice little check doing these little DJ sets. I mean, it's nice though. I mean, I'm. 
I'm fascinated by music. I listen to a lot of music. Yeah. And I know a lot of music, so I feel like, you know, just to be able to share it with everybody, that'd be pretty nice. And to be able to learn how to mix it and stuff like that, that'd be pretty cool. So. How was it living out in Los Angeles? It was traffic ridden. Oh, that's the worst o part. Overpopulated. Yeah. <laughs> was it overrated? Shout out to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to LA. Yeah, LA is what LA right, is. LA. How are they accepting of the Rams in the in, oh, yeah. in the city? Yes, sir. We Yes, sir. Everywhere you go is pretty much hey, yes, yeah, sir. what y'all need. Yeah, we all I mean, everybody, you know, big shout out to the Rams, big shout out to LA cuz you know, we all go hand in hand with each other. You yeah. know, just being out in that community too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. we we out there really, you know, trying to make a difference, yep. doing some positive things yep. out in um during the off season and when I was a rookie we had a chance to go out there and paint a whole playground for a school. Dope. Build a whole school. I mean build a whole playground. Yeah. And um like make some basketball courts for them. So it was That's pretty dope. solid. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, LA is they they real good to us. Yeah. But there's no better place to win. There's no better city to win games in than any sport than Los Angeles. Man, it, the it was, love you get when you start putting up W's for Los Angeles yeah. is, and it I've felt, been. A, it felt good leaving out that, that Coliseum every night when we got them. Yeah, because they especially they're starving for it too. They ain't had football they, in a couple of years. They're hanging on to everything, <laughs> and y'all had a chance to not only y'all had some some, some success, yeah, a lot did. of success. Oh yeah, yeah. and that's. And that's the thing that, you know what I'm saying, I hope a lot of the guys didn't look past. Yeah. Just like as far, because there was a lot of guys on our team who's been playing X amount of years yep. who've never been able to even have an opportunity to play in that game. Yeah. Let alone playing a lot of playoff games, yep. multiple playoff games in one season. So, you know, I just hope that everybody was able to sit back after the loss and everything and after the game and just take in all of the small things that, I mean, all the – Telling what you. may be small to us at the time, yeah. it was the big, the big one was there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just go back and appreciate all the things that we was able to accomplish. Telling you, don't wait till you get retired man. like me did, trying to look back on accomplish. You know what I mean? Be like, good. man, we did do that. Yeah, man. yeah. You don't want somebody reminding me, man. Do you know you was this so and so? Man, oh, yeah. yeah now now, you, now, you, feel, now yeah. you feel like you that kind of person. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So you always want to celebrate your accomplishments, but not go too overboard because you got to leave something to be desired. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Gotta be something desired. It's always. So so what's what's in your what's in your next plan? You doing some traveling this summer? Um I'm thinking about going to Toronto. Caravana? I'm not sure yet. Well, y'all might be in camp. When is Caravan? When do y'all go to camp? August? Somewhere in that area. Yeah, I think it's like July, August. I hope you get a chance to go to Caravana. That's nice. Experience a good night, wonderful cultural experience. The, mm, the Canadians to say the least, got huh? <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the Canadians got going up there. Yeah, I got I got a, um, I got a few homies that stay out there, so that'll be nice. And it's it's close to Michigan, so yeah. I'm gonna go and stop home while I go and do that. That's who's the thing. biggest? Who's the biggest football name to ever come out of Detroit? The bus? Yeah, probably Jerome Bettis. He from the D, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. Yeah. Jerome Bettis probably. Yeah. I can't think of nobody else, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm, we got I'm, a couple of guys. I'm though. a decent football head, on, but I don't know. But I can't think of nobody bigger I can't than. Think of, I can't think of nobody bigger than Jerome Bettis. We got a lot of guys, though. Yeah. We got a lot of guys that's making a lot of things happen right now. Yeah. And it's good to see, like, my age group, like the guys that I play with, they having success. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, in the league. Yeah. And that's just more motivation for the guys, like all the little kids back at home. Yeah. Cause we all was in that same, we was all in that same bucket. Yeah. Like all of us like all trying to grind to yep. go to these seven on seven camps. Yep. All trying to throw our money together to take these bus trips to Florida. Yep. We we going to Florida like, yep. to play a seven on seven tournament to yep. try to get some exposure. Take these trips to X Y Z colleges yep. trying to get our highlight tapes. Like, yep. and it's good to see that everybody some. Some success is finally starting to come to fruition. It's, it's nice to see that. Do you think about the babies that are behind you or they're coming up when you're doing this stuff? Do you think oh, yeah, about? Oh yeah, because it's always a bigger picture. Yeah, it's man. It's always a bigger picture. Yeah. So. I always look. I mean, I got a little brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I got. I got is he playing of, football? Oh yeah. He haven't. He haven't decided what school he's about to go to yet. He is a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my little brother Toriano. So. So you don't have no problem with. Passing the football towards down the family. You're not worried about concussions. You understand the life that you that you chose to play if football. You, if, you, if you 
get to the point where you want to pursue this as a career, yeah, you already made that decision that you want to play this. So how can I tell you otherwise? That's just me. Really can't. Real. Yeah, really can't. Can't. You can sit home and try to be safe and man, and, and, nah, and not game, yeah. Because nah, I love this game too much. Yeah. So if I, my little brother share the same love for it, I, how can I tell him otherwise? Plus. In a game like that, in a professional sports period, you can't go around tiptoeing, worrying about injuries and all the things that can happen while you play. Can't worry sport. about the negative. You gonna miss out on the opportunities of the positive. You almost have to be uh, foolishly blind <laughs> and be fool yourself with, uh, with how much positivity this you know this Man. put out there. What a, it's crazy. Or are you? How, where do you see? Where do you see the? You know, I know you, you know, everything's going. Oh, you want to talk about cap? You cool with talking about cap? Oh my. The decision. To, for the settlement? Yeah. I mean, that's on him. I mean, as far as talking about it, I, whatever he ends up doing yeah. as far as is the settlement, that that's their business. Yeah. But his him making his stand yeah. and him getting his point across is all that's, that should be important. And that's just that's just plain and simple. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a say in nothing that he's doing. Cause that's yeah. Him. yeah you know Very I mean? few that's of just, us do. None of us do. Yep. None of us do because it's his decision. He a grown man. Yep. He's he the one that went out. He's gonna do what he want to do. He went out there and did what he did. He the one who went out there and gave the explanation to why he did what he yep. did. Yep. So for him to come to a conclusion on anything that's happening, that's on him. It's, it's what he got himself into. I'm not about to jump into his. Oh uh, yeah. I'm glad. That's where the confusion starts. Yeah. It's, good that, it's, yeah, it's yeah. good that he made a stand. It's good that he got his point across, and everything happened that it, that he got to speak up. I mean, as far as actions and things of that nature, I yeah. don't know stats, so I, yeah. can't, I can't get into that. But yep. as far as the freedom of speech and everything, it was good that he was able to put that on. Do you think if he if he laced him up tomorrow, he'd be able to play football? Yes, sir. Thank Why? Because he's because well, he's he, fresh. Because he was damn good. Let's not yeah, stop running like he wasn't I was in the a suit. Huge 49ers fan. I mean, I'm a 49ers that, fan. That's that's understandable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so, understandable. Yeah. Like, I so a, I was I was like, reluctant. 49ers fan back in the day. Yeah, on. he was killing. He was nice. Was it the combination of him and Harbaugh? Was it some of Harbaugh's doing that had him cracking like that? Coach Harbaugh was a good coach. Yeah. Good coach. Yeah. I mean, I. Colin Kaepernick is a good talent, though. You know what I mean? He was fooling. It's a lot of. It's a lot of. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't play football, but I, I, I watch it. My my best friend, rest in peace, Daryl Russell. He was the number two pick in the draft. Yes, sir. Another rest one of peace. my. Yeah, my another one of my friends played for the Chiefs for a number of years. So I was around the NFL, trained with him for the combine, the whole nine. And uh, one thing. One thing that I that I do know is that. Man, the the the, in, the, the NFL shit is is no joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what, how? You can't always do what you want to do. Oh, absolutely. They not. protecting the shield at all costs. Understandable. And the, yeah. the the thing that just that blows me is that there's rules. Everybody's well aware of the rules. Yeah. I mean, it's not as if they don't give us a rule book, right? So it's on you to read through this or not if you're gonna abide by these rules. But everybody has the same rules. Yeah. It's not like they they so they so, so when something happens to somebody, it don't just be as if they're picking on you. Right. You know what I mean? I right. mean some people may get bothered a little more than others, but at the same time, everybody got the same rules. Yeah. You get in trouble for some X, Y, and Z. Somebody treats you a different way, X, Y, and Z, that's that's within the rules or whatever. Basically, like, the ground rules been laid out. You get a whole play, you get a whole thick binder before the season starts. Yeah, that's all you. If you rookie want to transition program and all the all the symposiums and they all that gonna, stuff. They know they go get you though, cause you a rookie. You ain't think about that. Yeah, you ain't thinking about none of that. You just trying to get that and symposium. It, it's, over. it's probably gonna, yeah. What else, man? It's good. You got a good. Uh, you got a positive energy to you, Mister Kelly. You feel it? Yeah, <laughs> you got a positive energy to yourself. Nah, I appreciate it, but man. What? Well, Anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you want? You got a platform you want to get off? Nah, I mean it's it's in the works, so I don't want to I don't want to say too much. But what's your tw a, what's your you got a, what's your Twitter and Instagram handle? Uh, Drop those on yes, everybody, sir. so we so know how to follow me on Instagram at JK Shuttlesworth on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Y'all just make sure y'all go follow. So it's JK Shuttlesworth across the board. Yes, sir. Where did Shuttlesworth come from? Seen the movie He Got Game? Of course I did. I was wondering. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but is that that's 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 a solid little understanding though. Yeah. I mean, after I saw that movie growing up, I'm like, 
after I been experienced the whole thing, it's yeah. just like the it's not too far off. It's not. It's, it's it was very accurate. Broad. Yeah, 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 it's very yeah, broad, yeah, but yeah. it's just like. You know I mean? If you know, yeah, if you know, you know, you know, that's what if I mean. you know some of them experiences you can relate to, you know what I mean. Yeah, well, yeah. we don't want to keep you too much longer, man. I appreciate you oh, stopping man, appreciate by. You, man, man stop, me. yeah, come by, chop it up. Let's chop it up some more. Skateboarding, you know fashion, whatever it is, football, basketball, life, music, music, ah. art, whatever, you, whatever you want to do. Most definitely appreciate yeah. y'all for having me. No worries. This has been the official McCoy podcast. Once again, thanks to John Kelly. Please follow him against all that Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all your social media platforms. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.